Stretch your wings, try to change, make a way to create new things. Greetings to everyone. I, Meha Sharma Pathak. I, Chetna Rathor. I, Anshika Sharma. Representing Maharaja Savai Bhavani Singh School, would like to present our model of incinerator, Men Gene, Menstrual Hygiene. We have a menstrual incinerator at our school. We got inspired from this easy to set up model, modified it, and came up with our own model of incinerator. We have given the name Men Gene, Menstrual Hygiene, because we are ensuring proper hygienic facilities for the women living in the slum areas. Here, we are dealing with two major problems. Firstly, due to the nationwide lockdown, the supplies for proper hygienic menstrual products have been cut down for the girls that they were earlier receiving from the government schools. Secondly, there is no proper disposal system as such being set up in the slum areas. So as to solve this second problem, we have designed an easy to use and cost efficient model of menstrual incinerator. Now my friend Chetna would like to explain you the working of the incinerator. We start by placing the used sanitary napkin on the iron mesh along with charcoal and cow dung. Charcoal and cow dung will help in igniting the fire and keep it for a long time. The ash which are generated will be collected in the ash tray and the fumes which are generated will pass out of the incinerator through the chimney filtered by HEPA filters. Now you might be thinking what will do of the ashes which are generated. My friend Anshika will update you on the same. In this whole project, our major concern has been reducing waste while ensuring proper disposal of sanitary napkins. Our incinerator reduces waste from plastic and toxic compounds to ash and more purified air. Ash can be recycled or reused in a variety of applications including construction material. If we get selected in top 100, we will further like to elaborate on our project. In the end, I would like to quote Brene Brown, vulnerability is the birthplace of innovation, creativity and change. We would have never thought about working in this project if the problems of sanitation facilities in some areas hadn't been there. The unawareness amongst the women, the improper disposal facilities, is what prompted us to work on something that would help to provide at least some basic hygiene facilities to the women of the slum areas. Thank you.